the first thing you need to do when calculating and figuring out how many risers and what the what size these risers will actually be will be to measure the distance from the top of the bottom floor top of the lower floor to the very top of the upper floor and get this distance and in our example we're going to use 35 inches then you will divide the average riser height into this number we should end up with 4.66 and um, this number is important for two ways it's not a it's not our riser measurement it's going to tell us basically how many risers we're going to have so we're not going to to divide 4.66 and anything but we are going to use the next closest number so we're we're we can go ahead and divide 4 into 35 we can divide 3 into 35 and we can divide 5 into 35 but we're going to go ahead and start with a larger number so after we divide 5 into 35 we can see that we have 7 now 7 isn't going to be a bad rise anything between 7 and 8 inches preferably between 7 and a quarter and 7 and 3 quarters of an inch would be a nice riser however we are going to double check and divide 4 into 35 again doesn't hurt to divide as many of these numbers into as we want to um, it's just going to give us more options but as you can see here if we divide 4 into 35 we come up with 8.75 which is going to be unacceptable for most building departments and building codes the maximum rise for most building departments will be eight inches and of course um, anything above eight inches won't be comfortable and this is what we're actually shooting for is safety and comfort without breaking any building codes so there it is in a nutshell it really isn't that difficult to calculate and figure your individual riser heights and if you have any questions at all feel free to leave them in the comment area on the channel and I will get to them as soon as I possibly can. Now, this was a video I previously made, but needed to remake it because one of the viewers pointed out a flaw in the video, and I appreciate that. If you have any questions or problems with the videos, I would love to hear about them because this will only help me improve them and make better videos for everyone to watch.